we're here at the Samsung booth at CES 2013 talking about their new Smart Hub and S recommendation. Yeah, this year we actually um, we made some changes to the Smart Hub. Last year in, uh, in the Smart Hub, you had one landing page where all your content was. Uh, this year we wanted to simplify the consumer's experience and really separate uh, the Smart Hub based on the customer's uh, uh, content preference. Uh, in this case, we separate into what we call five panels. Uh, on the first panel, we have what we call our On TV panel. It has our uh, recommendation uh, area, also has our guide information, and also has a picture of what's currently playing on TV. Uh, it allows us to easily access all the content we want from either our cable provider, satellite provider, or even uh, local broadcast. And then uh, the next hub we have is our video um, movies and TV shows panel. Basically what this is for is for all your video on demand services. Uh, we currently have five content partners that we work with, uh, Netflix, Blockbuster on Demand, Cinema Now, uh, Vudu, and also uh, Samsung's own media hub. Uh, so one click will get you to the movie that you want to see. Uh, also, we have our photos, videos, and music panel. This is uh, working with our all share, so all your different components in the house, such as your computer, uh, your la uh, if you have a laptop or if you have a tablet, all the information gets easily shared with the TV. And also, uh, Flickr, Picasa, uh, or even SugarSync will be able to link to this. And then we have our social media panel, you know, Facebook, Twitter, who doesn't want to have Facebook on their uh, TV? And then also uh, any Skype information. So if you have a TV with a camera, uh, then you'll be able to see all your Skype call information. And our last panel is section for our applications to where you can have your all your apps listed up on the TV uh, you have your recommended apps and you have your own personal apps this year we're in introducing S recommendation with voice interaction last year we introduced the voice and gesture control and this year we're taking it just a step further with the S recommendation with voice interaction I'm able to talk to my TV just like I'm talking to you to navigate the content to find what I want to watch I can say things such as any recommendations for me And it's going to pull up a list of recommendations based on my viewing history. So it doesn't matter what I say or how I say it. I can say, find me Batman, or I want to watch Batman, or find me a show about Batman. It's going to navigate the content and find me the show that I want to watch. Great. Thanks.